It's time for business. I'm Charles Aitip. Shareholders of defunct First Fund, then operated by the First Bank Financial Services, now TTL Capital, have issued a two-week ultimatum to their new fund managers to pay their locked-up funds or face their wrath. According to the spokesperson, Michael Kobla, a total of 170 million cities of about 24,000 investors have been locked up for the past two years. There is more in this report. Addressing the media at a press briefing, the shareholders called on the Securities and Exchange Commission to, as a matter of urgency, intervene and retrieve their funds. According to the spokesperson, Michael Kwabla, a total of 170 million cities of about 24,000 investors have been locked up for the past two years. Basically, we are here to um, draw the awareness of the board of First Fund that we need our money. Uh, locked up money for two years. We need our money. They should operationalize the fund. We'll give them two weeks ultimatum to operationalize the fund and let us have our money. We are not even looking for all 100%. We are looking at 60% of our money. Then they should give us a plan, a working plan, that the remaining 40% can be paid. Because the money that are sitting in the bank, every day it is accruing interest. And TTL Capital is charging 0.5% of that interest. So the more the money sits at the bank, it is our, our loss and their gain. Now, some of the aggrieved investors whose funds have been locked up spoke to Joy Business. It's about 20,000, and it was more than 20,000, but um, the value that they gave us was 0.75 then. But when these people took up, now they said um, the value has reduced to 0.72. So it means the money that you thought you have there previously, it has also reduced. As a growing money, today they will tell us this, tomorrow they will tell us this. Give us our money to I ask them. So we are pleading to the Ministry of Finance, the, the, the SEC, uh, Reverend Ogba Amitete, that they should all come to our aid. We need our monies. It's been two years. Two years. Our funds have been reduced. In fact, I had over 90,000 Ghana cities in my investment as of uh, 1st of October 2019. Then on the 7th of November 2019, uh, the first, fund, uh, first bank's license was revoked. Now, when we requested a, 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 what's it, a statement from TTL, and when they sent it, my investment has reduced over 4,000 Ghana cities. Imagine somebody who has a million Ghana cities in the investment, how much will be, it will be reduced? Imagine what someone, let's say a pensioner who has about 150 of all his pension money in there, how much will be reduced? I hope you understand. So this is the magnitude of, of crimes that is happening in TTL and then the first fund board. So we need government to come in and come to our aid. This is the time that government should step in into these fund management companies and make sure that they are operating according to the law. As we speak, they have received over 30% of the fund. When will it take for them to pay us if you have received 30%? Say, look, this is what we have. Take it whilst we work on receiving the others. Up to now, nothing. And our monies keep on reducing. Even with them, from two years, it keep on reducing. By the time you realize we don't have, uh, have anything in our fund. So we want the government side to come in and make sure that the board, those who invested beyond their powers into the commercial papers, they are caught to move. They should not be working scot-free, quite the ordinary Ghanaian suffers.